taking out the time today also. Super appreciate it. Of course. Thank you also. So right now, I uh, will proceed to our um, post-event um, interviews. So a few, um, some members of the media who were present in the program earlier um, have some questions to ask. So thank you sure. for um, accommodating them, Kat. Of course. Recording in progress. Oh. All right. So let's start with um, MJ Marfori from TV5. Hi, Hi Kat. Kat, thank you so much uh, for your time Hi, and post-interview na to. And I just want to congratulate you because the last time we spoke, uh, yun na nga, sabi mo nga, nasa Singapore ka, di ba? Ngayon, nasa Australia ka naman. And despite everything that has happened to you recently, and grabe fresh... Wait, na-mute ata ako. Ito, na-unmute na ako ulit. So, ito na. Um, I, I just want to know, how are you? How are you? How's your dad? Um, My dad is doing well, thank God. Um, It was a very anxious trip to Singapore for me because even the flight papunta dyan was when he was having his operation done. So, it was a very anxious time for me and my mom and for our family. But praise God, he's he's did a uh, had a great operation, recovering well, and sana ma discharge siya in the next couple of days. Amen. So I'm just so grateful, so so grateful. Prayer is so powerful, and I'm just so thankful I can also be here. Because I lift lang uh, just this first week of March na yung quarantine. Uh, uh, requirements for Australia because last year I had to quarantine 15 days but mm -hmm. ngayon, I could go straight and see my family with just a PCR test. I'm so grateful. Para sa anong operation? I hope you don't mind me asking. Oh, no, no, it's a heart operation. So my dad had to go undergo a very major heart surgery. So with it being a major operation, it just you know, it's it's something you want to be optimistic about, but also you just have to kind of prepare yourself. It's much harder also that I wasn't even here when the operation was on, go, ongoing. And more so if I was, it's very limited visitor capacity at the hospitals at the moment here in Australia because they're actually experiencing their first ever COVID surge. Can you imagine <laughs> the whole pandemic? Because they're not open. Yeah. Lang sila. So, um, it was very, it's a, it's a very unsure time, but thank God my dad's I, doing better. I, I can't imagine, uh, imagine mo, nag-host ka pa nung, ano mo, nung wax figure unveiling mo, tapos yung pala yung nasa likod, and we all know how, how much you really take care of your parents. I mean, yeah. but there, there's a silver lining to it, like what you say, right? Uh, ang ganda-ganda nung wax figure mo, Kat. Meron na bang date? Kailan siya magtutour sa Pilipinas? Thank you. Oh, I wish I had a date talaga, but I'm really hoping soon. Um, I know that she's also potentially touring Hong Kong and Thailand, which would be a wonderful uh, thing because that was actually the original plan of 2020. Now she would tour also to Manila and then reside in Singapore. So let's see, fingers crossed. I would love for her to visit Manila because it's such a wonderful <laughs> moment that has been immortalized. Um, and I'm even wearing the Philippine sash, and it would be so nice to celebrate that moment with the Filipinos. Uh, we're Philippines. so excited about that. And my last question, Kat, yun na nga, no? Because it's a perfect uh, thing, like, from the gown, the looks, and everything. And we do know, uh, yung shoes ba babaguhin siya or hindi? Because I think Jojo uh, opened up about it, or will it, will, what, what, is it out of your hands? Uh, I think the wax figure is already done, as she is. Uh, I'm not aware of any other developments in that, but as far as I know, the wax figure is completed. She's already on display in Madame Tussauds, Singapore, and there's members of the public who are able to tour and visit her. So I've been seeing some of the tag photos, which is really, really cool, and seeing how they're enjoying the wax figure there. So. Yeah, na yon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kat, for your time. And of course, uh, with this, we can't wait to really see it here in the Philippines. And uh, of course, prayers for your father. Thank you, thank, thank you, Kat. You. Thanks, MJ. Thanks for your time. See you here in your new show. Yeah, see you soon. <laughs> thank you so much, sis MJ. And then next we have thank you. Kate Paras from Metro. Hi, Kate. Oh, I think um, she's not it here, but we can proceed okay. with um, Larisa Garcia of Manila Society. Are you here, Larisa? 
not yet here. Okay, next we can proceed with um, Jess Pagiwayan of Manila Bulletin Live. Hi, Jess. Hi, you guys can you hear me? Hi, Jess. Yeah. Congratulations, I'm in the office. So oh, thank pretty. you. So I, I'll be um, showing questions for two publications, the Manila Bulletin and the MB Life are uh, titled mm -hmm. for the youth. So I'll first for the Manila Bulletin. So uh, the first question is, when and why do you feel your best and your most beautiful? Oh, I would really feel like it's on my days off when I'm not wearing any makeup, when I can just be myself. I'm required to be a lot of things for my work. Um, and I've always tried to make it very apparent to myself that I am not glammed up version of me. Um, I am myself when I'm at home with my loved ones, when I'm in tracksuits and t-shirts and um, I'm really stripped of all of that glam type of thing that comes with my work. Um, because it's allowed me to really appreciate me for me um, because, you know, at the end of the day, um, makeup is always removed and hair is always brushed out, but I always try and look after my health and my skin and just my internal energy and my mental health as well. So that's when I feel most beautiful. <laughs> I think when you gotta get the cheese away, this is when you feel uh, comfortable, the most your mm. comfortable space. Thank you for that. My second question is, can you tell us that hindi ka pa na na 